Since being diagnosed with breast cancer last April, family time has taken on a whole new meaning for Amy Adam. It kind of, you know, made us aware that, you know, when it comes down to it, family is what matters. And so they all kind of came together and made sure I was taken care of. It's my medical journal. Journal entries mark all the milestones. The 46-year-old was lucky. A mammogram caught her cancer early when the tumor was just three by four millimeters, smaller than the size of a pencil eraser. Her treatment, a lumpectomy followed by radiation. No chemo did not have chemo. Dr. Emily Albright, a surgical oncologist at MU Healthcare, says more women with early stage breast cancer like Amy may be able to skip chemotherapy, thanks to a recent study published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The recent results have clarified that for women at intermediate risk of recurrence, the majority of those do not benefit from chemotherapy. That's expected to spare up to 70,000 patients a year in the U.S. from the side effects of chemo. Dr. Albright says treatment is evolving, becoming more targeted. As we learn more about the biology, we're able to tailor treatments to the specific type of tumor that a patient has. So there are some small tumors that may be more aggressive, and there may be some larger tumors that are less aggressive. It's good news to survivors like Amy, who's now focused on encouraging others. It's okay to let people bring you dinner. It's okay to let people take care of your kids and you know, just take care of you, you know, take advantage of your community. Offering hope to those still fighting. From the University of Missouri, I'm Teresa Snow.